Hello, thank you so much for joining us for the first year experience video for the Bachelor of Social Work program. My name is Christina and I'm part of the recruitment team here at Laurier and I'm joined by two of our Bachelor of Social Work students along with one of our faculty members. So I'd like to begin um, by thanking you all for joining us. Um, this is, I know it's so busy and this means so much that you're able to share some of your experiences with the students who are considering coming to Laurier for the social work program. And let's begin with some introductions before we jump into some question and answer. Hi, my name is Love and I'm a third year social work student. Um, I'm also doing a minor in Indigenous Studies and Child and Youth Studies. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tajri and Mashiat. Um, I am also in third year, but I'm on a reduced load, so um, that's a little skewed, but I am also in the BSW program and I am doing a minor in Indigenous Studies as well. Hi everyone, so my name is Tamara McKenzie. I'm an assistant professor here in the Faculty of Social Work. Uh, a little bit about me, um, I guess I kind of focus on three areas of research. Uh, predominantly, I've been focusing on LGBTQ issues, uh, mainly within health, so the social determinants of health, as well as looking at disability issues, primarily um, with voting disabilities, and lastly, also interested in Indigenous and Northern issues, such as burnout and social work in Nunavut, uh, to when patients travel south for medical care. Welcome. Great, thank you so much. We're so happy to have you join us today. Um, so I know many of these students are really looking forward to starting their undergraduate career, um, and thinking about first year. So I'm wondering if you could share with me uh, what the most important part of the first year experience as a social work student is. From my perspective, I would say one of the most important parts in first year is getting to know your professors. Um, I think when you do this, you're able to better um, understand the content that you're learning in class because it's going to be significantly different from what you've learned in high school. And it'll also help you to like learn about the different ways in which you can use your degree eventually. Yeah, um, my answer is pretty similar. I um, I found it really useful to get to know the social work professors as well as the other students who are in my cohort. Um, I found that if you get to know the other students who are going to grow with you through the program, then that's um, helpful for you to have peers that you can lean on to um, kind of support each other. Yeah. Well, with first year, it's a lot of fun. So not only get to know your professors and other colleagues and students and find a lot of other great services you can get involved with club societies on campus but also thinking about we're thinking about first year social work what is social work so you get to kind of explore all different avenues uh, that the profession you can go into maybe it's more that individual component you're thinking about working with groups or maybe it's more bigger changes that you want to do like the macro pieces we call it social work getting involved maybe at the governmental level or, or getting involved with movements to create change and what's nice about our first year social work program and as you go through all the different years is all the class sizes are quite small so maximum 35 students per class and then when you get to fourth year it's 28 but um, it's a nice way to also get to know students and, and your faculty Fantastic. I've also heard from a few faculty members that um, when they have their office hours, it's time that you can go by their office to ask questions about, you know, the class, if there's something you'd like help with. And I've heard that sometimes if students don't, um, don't come to office hours, it can be boring while they sit there and wait. So um, it's another great way to take advantage and um, get to know your professors. So what are some of the actual courses and the workload like in the first year social work program? Um, in first year, it's very introductionary and in teaching you what social work is and how all the different ways you can use it, which I find very beneficial because that's the point of being in a program. You want to know what you can do with your degree. You want to learn all the ins and outs and like the skills and stuff that you specifically like and like going forward. Um, yeah, I don't remember the other half of the question, so. <laughs> What's the workload like? Yes, in first year, it's, I would say it's difficult because it's a new environment for students, um, especially if you're coming from high school, but if you're coming from like 
um, doing a social service degree, it might be different, but it may be, it's difficult, but I think it's a really good time for students to really push themselves academically. And we also have lots of resources at Laurier, like academic um, supports and like the writing services that can really help students with this new change that they're going through in first year. Absolutely, yeah. Um, first year for me, uh, I found it actually a little easier to settle into the workload, mainly because I'm the kind of student who prefers tests and exams over assignments. Uh, so there was more of that in my introductory courses. Um, so it depends which which side you fall on for that. But um, the workload was all right. Uh, I think it's a really good time in first year to establish what your study habits are and kind yeah. of um, reach out to all of those supports so that you know um, what's available and how you can best reach your potential. Um, and with the courses that we took in first year, like definitely it's beneficial to have those introductory elements so you understand what you're getting into. Um, yeah. Like for me specifically, the uh, introductory Indigenous Studies course was really beneficial because um, from the high school I came from, I didn't know any of that stuff so like just being introduced to all of this um new information that i would be like carrying through the program was really helpful so with first year you kind of have two social work courses so you have one in the fall and then one in the winter and then as you kind of go through second and third year we build on it so second year you have for example four courses but the two courses you have in first year is introduction to social welfare as well as the second one being for the winter introduction to social uh, work values, ethics, and practice. Now, I generally have taught the fall course, so Introduction to Social Welfare. So here we're kind of just starting out kind of the basics, understanding the different welfare states. So understanding, you know, what is Canada's welfare state? We think about kind of welfare typology and then kind of comparing to other countries. What is the history of our welfare state? How did that evolve? What's changed? And then within that, we kind of look at specific communities. Maybe it's the LGBTQ community. Maybe it's indigenous, disability, um, and so forth. We kind of go through exposing and challenging again, I think, uh, perceptions of communities, uh, helping kind of educate on different issues. Because we think about, again, as social workers, and as you kind of go through the course, you're gonna be working with many different people from a variety of different backgrounds. So really kind of, you know, working in and trying to find out what those communities are about, uh, about and what can we do about it. In terms of also reaching out uh, with first year, what we also try to do within some of the first year courses is have, for example, a librarian come in, talk a bit about what's, how do we find, you know, sources, peer-reviewed sources? How do you do APA? How to kind of give people, you know, students a good introduction of getting started. And that's something I, I always like to do with the first course. Uh, the first day is just kind of give people kind of a, you know, a 101 of, of how to kind of reference and uh, how to find articles as you go through your career uh, at Laurier. I think something to remember as well as a student coming into Laurier, we want you to be successful as much as you want to be successful. So we always have support like, um, what Cameron mentioned um, to help you as you learn in this new environment. Um, so I, there's so many opportunities in so many of our courses and programs at Laurier to apply what you're learning. And I'm wondering if there are any opportunities that either you have had or that you have coming up within the social work program or even some other courses that you've taken as electives um, that really excite you. Um, for me, the biggest part for the social work um, program is the fact that we have our placement intertwined with our four years. There's a lot of schools that you just get the degree and get the education, which is great, but the practical um, practice is always beneficial. So our placement opportunity is one way. Um, right now I'm doing my placement at a hospital in Hamilton, which I really love. I'm learning lots about myself and all the different avenues in which social work can be used, even in a hospital. So that's really great. Um, Another way is there's a couple courses in Brantford that you can have a community place with some community service learning opportunity. So in my first year, I took a religion course um, that was <laughs> that I was able to get um, that experience, and I did a little community service <laughs> um, in uh, elementary school, which I loved. And that's another good thing about Laurier Brantford is we're so closely connected to the community being in the downtown core. So there's lots of avenues for us to volunteer um, and such. I was also able to volunteer at Why Not um, last year, which was a great experience to like 
use, practice some of my social work skills and also like be a productive member to the Brantford community, which at this point I'm basically a citizen. <laughs> I am not in my placement yet. I am hoping to get one next year. Um, I, I don't know if there's a lag going on, but um, I am hoping to have my placement next year uh, in the winter. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I, can, I can find something that fits well with me um, and kind of figure out what avenues that I would like to pursue um what kind of workplaces fit well with me so i'm i'm excited for all that but i can't speak on that right now um throughout um throughout the program so far i have volunteered in a couple of places not in brantford but in my hometown in london so um i definitely think there's a lot of opportunities to apply what you're learning um and kind of figure out how to use that in the real world if you can um, find those opportunities around you. So I can think of a lot of ways, I guess, that gets exciting about not just studying uh, sulfur, but maybe also applying it. Uh, like Love, you were saying, and it sounds like you'll be doing that very shortly, is, is getting involved, for example, it could be the Brantford community. So I find Laurie is very much a community, a community uh, university. So Maybe it's getting involved with the different partnerships that we have outside in the community about volunteering. Maybe it's about getting involved at Laurie itself. Uh, maybe you want to start your own student club. Maybe you want to get involved with the BSW Student Society that works very closely, of course, with our faculty, bringing up student concerns or issues or events up that students might want to see in social work uh, throughout the years. Or maybe it's getting involved with the student union. Maybe you want to get um, uh, maybe there's a certain issue that you find is affecting students and you want to, you know, address those issues from the student union's point uh, perspective. And I find there's just so many ways and within four years can fly by that I encourage you to kind of get involved and have fun and, and, and push yourself. So maybe that means starting a club or volunteering with the community or, or, you know, not just come just for the classes and study, but really, you know, have fun by getting out there and pushing, uh, and pushing yourself. There's so much that can be done outside the classroom as well. Like it's the opportunities truly are endless, which is actually a great lead in to my next question. Um, I'm wondering if you could tell me what your favorite first year memory is at Laurier, either in the Bachelor of Social Work program or in general. Um, my favorite first year experience has, doesn't have much to do with um, the social work program, but it just goes to show just um, the Laurier Brantford community and how, although it's small, we're very closely connected. So in first year, we um, we have snow week in the winter, so it's kind of like orientation week, but the winter version for maybe students that are incoming in the winter. Um, one of my favorite events was the silent disco <laughs> that happened in my first year. Um, there wasn't a huge turnout, but it was the most fun for the people that were there. So it's just really, it was a great way to like get connected with the people that you're um, able to be with. It's not much of a, there's a ton of people and how am I gonna get connected? But you do have those smaller classrooms and all these interactions and relationships that you can definitely grow um, within the Laurier community. Yeah, um, so just to add to that, I think um, first year for me was also mainly about um, the social aspects of university. Um, so I came to Laurier in Brantford and as far as I know, there wasn't anybody from my high school who came here. So it was really important for me to uh, kind of find my circle and make a bunch of friends. So um, my favorite memory probably was between like anything in O-Week, orientation week and um, just some of the events that were put on by the residence council. Um, yeah. So there was a lot of uh, like paint nights and stuff. So that was just super fun to get together with friends and watch a movie and paint in the in in the rooms that they have in the basement. Um, so that was just a really nice way to hang out with other people. I guess for me, when I first started at uh, Laurier, I was actually teaching the first year course in social work. So that was always really exciting and a great way to start. Uh, and I've enjoyed teaching ever since. Uh, I love hearing the memories from first year because I think it is 
honestly one of the best years that anybody can have at university um, when you really embrace that transition and obviously it's not without its challenges but um, being able to find your support network and your friends really it just makes makes it such an incredible experience. Um, I cannot thank you enough again for taking time out of your schedule to join us. Um, Love, I really wish you luck with the remainder of your placement um, you. at the hospital. It sounds like it's been going really well, so best of luck with that. And Taj, thank you so much for taking time. I know it's really busy with final projects and tests and exams right now, so thank you so much for joining us. Um, I know that if this has been great for the students who are considering coming to Laurier for this social work program. So hopefully you all found this just as beneficial, um, hearing experience from the students who have lived it and who are currently in the program and obviously thriving in it. So thank you so much, everybody. Hopefully we'll see you on campus soon.